Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here. So, today's problem, I may uh, basically this is uh, motivated from a problem of Pathfinder, and I slightly modified it uh, and asked in a different uh, way. So, after explaining all these concepts, I'll be giving you that problem as a homework, and it's uh, you should be able to solve that. So, here. Uh, there is a rod which is uh, leaning against a uh, wall which a uh, wall is smooth you can see here the wall is smooth and uh, the ground is having a very large friction and it's a uniform rod metal rod is given in scenario one it is placed at a hot sunny day at rajasthan that means what i want to give is indirectly that uh, temperature here is uh, more and the same situation uh, same setup i'm taking to icy cold winter of delhi that means the temperature here is less all right and uh, here uh, in this case contact force at uh, a is given as fa here it is given as fb here it is fa dash and here it is fp dash so now we have to predict on this ratio whether it will be more than one or less than one or equal to one so that is what it is uh, given here okay so we started champs program with this uh, particular problem and the current topic is uh, uh, surface tension some uh, very good problem solving we will be doing in uh, champs for advanced uh, in the surface tension for advanced 2025 and yeah let's start i'll be explaining some concept here in uh, this problem and those concepts will help you in in general in learning uh, the uh, it will help you in uh, problem solving of rotation and other things in general also uh, uh normally in books you will not find so let's start uh, first so we have to identify we have to comment on uh, this contact force at a basically it is uh, n1 that means on this normal we have to uh, uh, comment because here temperature is more and here temperature is less and it's a metal rod so what is going to happen in uh, at high temperature length of this rod will be more and friction is very large friction is very large so we'll say that this point is at rest and icy cold winter means here length is going to be lesser so point b remains fixed this point will come down here and this point will go up here so basically let's express everything in terms of this angle theta theta in this case is more theta in this case is less all right so and contact force at uh, n uh, b it is a resultant of n2 and fr so it is going to be root of n2 square plus fr square now the first part uh, which you are uh, which you should uh, realize is since rod is in equilibrium uh, the net force on the rod is going to be zero here onwards i'll take uh, these two uh, components as one resultant so it will give you a unique vector triangle and uh, on uh, INSPYT you can find a lot of problems on uh, uh, vector triangle and they are like a very good tool you can use. So first concept here I can just uh, show it to you because net force is zero that means contact force at A plus B plus, plus weight W of the rod is going to be zero. Now out of that W has a fixed direction, FA has a fixed direction that means fb will adjust its value to complete the triangle so uh, this is n1 this is w so fb must be something like this so this is one way of uh, learning about this unique vector triangle there is another important part uh, in this problem and normally i cover this in uh, classes so those who are uh, regular class students they would have uh, they will know these points so concept two since rod is in equilibrium therefore net torque about any point is going to be zero and if about any point is zero that means these forces especially if we have three unique forces they all must pass through one single point all right so here what we will do is this is very important diagram not many people uh, think about it and i will tell you uh, there is uh, a mathematical theorem which will give one liner answer to this uh, problem it is called as mn cot theorem you can apply on this uh, vector tri uh, this triangle it works very well so those who uh, uh, j sprints normally will uh, know mn cot theorem so uh, here the forces must pass through a single point line of action of n1 is fixed it is going to be perpendicular to this wall 
line of action is going uh, of mg is also fixed so if these two forces are uh, passing through this point for the equilibrium of uh, rod n2 and fr will adjust itself in such a way that uh, it must pass through this point p because we can write torque about any point at the same time there must be a unique point so that we can say net torque is zero about this so all three forces are passing through one single point anyways let's do some calculation n1 is equal to friction here and mg is equal to n2 so the, these two are equation another one we can write torque equation so best is uh, let's take torque about this directly we are going to get the value of uh, uh, n1 so n1 into l sin theta and mg into l by 2 cos theta that should be equal to balance the torque so directly i'm getting n1 is equal to mg cot theta divided by 2 or mg by 2 cot theta i can say so fa is known to you because uh, uh, force contact force at a there is no friction here so that is equal to n1 only so this is known to you now contact force at b it is uh, resultant of n2 and uh, friction now here you can see friction value is known to you n2 is anyways mg so these values are known to you so total contact force at b we are going to get as uh, under root of n2 square plus fr square if you simplify this mg we can take outside so mg 1 plus cot, cot square theta now both values we are getting in terms of theta third concept i have already explained to you that hot places rods length will be more and uh, in cold place uh, the rods uh, length will be lesser that means these angles are different and if for equilibrium these angles are different so uh, when length of the rod is more this theta one is going to be more because point b is fixed point b is fixed theta two will be less a is moving slightly down and a is moving slightly up at higher temperature and lower temperature so theta 1 is greater than theta 2 and here fa and fb have dependency of uh, theta so i can see uh, theta 1 is greater than theta 2 this means cot theta 1 is going to be less than cot theta 2 it means fa where angle is more that force will be smaller so fa is less than fa dash and at the same time fb is less than fb dash so both the ratios are going to be less than 1 both the ratios are going to be less than one very few people have got the uh, correct answer for this particular problem so i hope uh, you have learned something uh, good especially the good part about this is knowing this uh, vector triangle and uh, having idea of uh, concurrency of uh, these forces and this uh, vector triangle here so i hope uh, we have revised these uh, concepts properly now uh, i'll uh, give you the pathfinder problem its language is different but virtually it is the same uh, problem here so you can try it so similar problem from uh, pathfinder basically this problem only have modified uh, the way I'm asking this question, it's different, but it is virtually the same problem. So from the wall, it decreases from the floor, it increases from the wall, increases from the floor, decreases from the wall as well as from. So you can uh, check which is going to the correct answer in this particular case. So you can explore INSP website for uh, our J advanced and Olympiad courses uh, for class 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 pass. So I hope uh, these videos, these concept builder videos are uh, helping you. Uh, and uh, yes, if you have any specific problem in mind and which is around JE, because uh, the idea of these videos will be to play around JE advanced 2025. And uh, if you have, you can share those problems uh, in Telegram group or personally with me. I'll pick up those problems in one of these uh, discussions as I promise that uh, we'll try ki we go for 100 uh, such videos, 100 such uh, concept builders before J Advance uh, 2025. So uh, if you're